Examination of the liver. Clinical examination of the abdomen should always include percussion, palpation, and optionally auscultation of the liver. Palpating a normal sized liver is often difficult. It usually extends beyond the rib cage in the area of the right midclavicular line and traverses the epigastric region. Even in this region, the liver can only be felt through deep palpation. Start the examination by asking the patient to exhale. Afterwards, as the patient is inhaling, slowly slide your fingers towards the right rib cage so they are near the liver's edge. When the lower liver edge is felt, its surface structure, consistency, and size can be evaluated. Since a severely enlarged liver can extend as far as the lower abdomen, palpation should start further down in the right lower quadrant. If necessary, Bimanual palpation can help locate the liver in patients with a larger abdominal diameter. Another possibility to determine the size of the liver is the scratch test, although its reliability and precision remain controversial. One method is to place the stethoscope on the chest just below the xiphoid process. Lightly scratch the abdominal skin in the right lower quadrant with a fingernail, parallel to the expected liver border. The air-filled bowel loops under the fingertip poorly transmit the sound waves to the stethoscope. Proceed with the scratch test by gradually moving cranially towards the rib cage. The transition from bowel to liver tissue, through which sound waves can travel faster, is notable for a sudden increase in the loudness of the scratching and marks the lower liver border. Continue the scratch test further upwards until a sudden drop in loudness is observed, marking the transition from liver to lung. This is where the upper liver border is located. In this patient, percussion, palpation, and scratch test reveal a physiological liver size. The cranial caudal length of the right liver lobe in the midclavicular line is around 10 centimeters. These examination techniques can help in examining a suspected hepatomegaly, but do not replace the standard clinical practice of abdominal ultrasound, which helps assess the liver more precisely.